Hi everybody, in this video we are going to talk detailly about the plant. How are we going to measure the position of the car and the necessity of a mathematical model that describes the relation between inputs and outputs of our car? So we have to know in every sample of time what is the position of the car and that position of the car is going to be compared with the desired point that the point that we want to achieve. So in this case we have to calculate in every sample of time that position and that is very important because uh, that is what is what the the microcontroller is how the microcontroller could calculate what is the velocity of the right wheel or in, in what is the velocity of the left wheel to achieve that trajectory so but how we are going to measure what is the actual position of my robot so in the literature there are a, a different ways ones could be I am going to drown, try to drown a, a car, uh, something like that, and that is the wheel. So this is my car, and the car must follow a trajectory, a trajectory to find what is the S desire and Y desire uh, point. But I have to make sure what is that point, what is the point that is placed, that is stand the, the robot. So, uh, in the literature, you use a camera. You could use a camera in the roof. Could use a, a camera, and that camera moves to moves to. Uh, it, it is watching what is the position of the of the car in every sample of time, and that camera say to the to a computer. What is the uh, x, y coordinates that is place our car? So this computer could communicate it with the microcontroller of the robot uh, via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, and it could say what is the x, y uh, point, and the computer or my, or my controller could calculate what is the velocity of the right wheel on the left wheel to found this desired point and we could see right here what is the feedback loop loop control that is very important okay in this project uh, we we watch that in this project we need a camera and a computer and a, and a microcontroller inside of our, my robot so this is so complicated because we need camera, computer, image processing and a lot of things around this robot so this is too expensive and uh, we have we don't have the uh, enough the enough money to buy all these things and we most to to do another things to measure what is the position of my robot uh, cheaper so we can use a camera and we can use we can't use uh, a computer so we could measure the position of my robot using a device inside of my robot in this case this is the robot the, those are the wheels this, uh, the other wheels and inside of the robot we could use something like that it's a disc and that disc is a encoder the encoder measures what is the distance that the wheels move. If we could 
calculate what is the distance and this distance we could measure in every sample of time what is the x y position what is the x y position if we could measure those movements that is the important things and if you don't know about encoder we are going to develop that concept in the next videos but this is cheaper and, and it is very easy to use it and we are going to develop all the problem of the program around those elements and we could we could to know in every sample of time what is the real position of my car so this is the the feedback model that we have to to control every single plant around the world is controlled by this control scheme in this scheme we have a reference that reference is the desired point the point that we want the plants going to achieve this is a, a thermical plant so uh, this is the reference uh, the temperature that i want the plants achieve then i need my necessity is measuring this point measure in every sample of time what is the real temperature that i want to control so that temperature is uh, making what is the error the error of the system those error is the output of the real measurement and the reference of temperature this error goes to a, a microcontroller to a controller signal and that that controller makes that the plants uh, tries to increase or decrease his output so this is a feedback loop control in this feedback loop control is the most known in the literature but right here we have a, a problem because this plant we have to know it we have to know it how this plant works because this microcontroller this controller tries to send a signal to the plant to move this output but if we don't know how to the plant response that signal to the input to the input signal could a uh, response in other way that we don't want we have to develop what is the what is the model of this of this plan and this is our world and we are going to develop a mathematical model that tries to link what is the input and the output okay right here we have the the right model the feedback model that we want to develop in this case we have the the plant that is our car and this car have two encoders that uh, that helps to measure the actual position of my car and that uh, that measure goes to uh, to our microcontroller all this all this part is the microcontroller that is reading the the different measures of the of the wheels the color signals and he could measure the actual position then if he know the actual position of the robot we could get the reference to the xd and yd yd position that we want that the uh, robot achieve then it could measure what is the error if this error is bigger or smaller the the microcontroller could send a signal to the right wheel and the left wheel to move to try to achieve the reference and that is our model that is our model of control uh, that we are going to use and we are going to to try to implement in a real plant
So we are here to start with a discussion. In this case, we have to know that the most important thing in a plant is know what is the model. The model of the plant is very important for us because we have to uh, relate what is the relation of the, of the inputs and the outputs of my model. How the inputs affect our outputs. If we think in that there are techniques in, in control that, do, that it doesn't need the model but we are don't have the discussion in these videos we are need for this video the real model of our car and thinking that the model is the relation between the inputs and outputs in our model so in our case we have a car I'm going to draw it going to draw something like that this is our car something like that that this is the right wheel uh, this is the right wheel this is the left wheel this car uh, we have to make to do some input what is the input of this car in this car the microcontroller is going to say move the right wheel move the left wheel that signals makes that those are the inputs the velocity of the right wheel and the velocity of the left wheel those are the inputs of my plant but what is the output the output of my plant right here is this what is the real position x and y the real position is the output of my plant and then I have to develop a mathematical model that he uh, that relates the position of the car and the velocities of the car of the wheels I need to develop that so uh, we have to make a bigger discussion about that Right here we have the, the model. Uh, our model is the mathematic develop of the inputs and outputs. Try to relate uh, that the inputs and that output. In our case, we have a car. We have a differential car and that car needs like inputs, needs something like velocity of the left wheel and velocity of the right wheel and what is the output of my car the output is the x position and the y position that that is the the model of our car we want to develop this model there is a mathematical model that try to relate the velocities and the position of my car then how I am going to find to find that equation we are going to use something very common for everyone that is the equation of uh, Newton's law we are going to use that to try to relate the velocity of the right wheel the velocity of the left wheel trying to find the position of my car we are going to develop that and you will note that it's a very easy to note for this case this video has taken a, a lot of time but it's important to understand the concept the basic concept of this project and in the next video we are going to explain the what is the model the mathematical model that relate the velocity of the wheels and the position of the car and uh, we are going we are ready to start with the building of our car i hope that you enjoyed this video and you like it uh, share and subscribe to my channel that is a, a gr great support for this channel thank you very much